welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jacqueline and I make new videos every week, a whole variety of things, lifestyle, beauty, adventure, all sorts of fun stuff. And I upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. And today I have another 30 day skincare test for you guys. I'm so excited about this one. This is all about whew, the ordinary um, azelaic acid suspension 10%. Um, so before I get into like the details of all of this and how it worked on my skin and the before and after pictures and all that fun stuff, I do want to mention a couple of things that I like to mention before all my skincare videos. First of all, I am not a dermatologist. I am not an esthetician. I'm just somebody who loves skincare um, and I've done my own research on this stuff, kind of taking bits and pieces from, you know, my research to formulate my own opinion. Um, but by my own means, am I an expert? Um, I just love the skincare, so keep that in mind whenever I'm, uh, you know, talking about things. Um, and the second thing is my skin type. I have very dry, pretty sensitive, acne-prone skin. This is where my skin is at. I'm also living in Georgia currently, so it's very hot and humid. Um, we are moving soon, though, so that will change. But for now, that's kind of where my skin is at. So, yeah, that's kind of where I'm at. So let's just hop right in to, first of all, what is azelaic acid? Um, I've been kind of hearing azelaic acid going around the interwebs. I feel like it's one of those new hot skincare ingredients, but it's really hard to find. And the reason it's hard to find is because it's hard to formulate. Apparently, if it's not formulated correctly, it's really grainy and then that's not great for your skin. So it's hard to find over the counter options for azelaic acid. The other thing is you can get a prescription for azelaic acid if it's 15% um, or higher. Most azelaic acids over the counter are 10%. And there's not, like I said, there's not that many options out there for azelaic acid from over the counter. I know obviously the ordinary is a common one and so is the Paula Choice. They have a booster that's azelaic acid 10%. Um, so those are some of your options for azelaic acid. But azelaic acid is a dicarboxyl acid, I think that's how you pronounce it, but it's a naturally occurring acid um, from grains. So grains like barley, wheat, and rye. And some of the things that make azelaic acid <laughs> so great for your skin um, is that it's an antimicrobial and it's an anti-inflammatory. So it's good for people with like acne and rosacea um, because it's a gentle acid that helps to um, clear out bacteria from your pores that cause those breakouts. It helps to reduce uh, inflammation. So like the redness that cause it, that comes from acne and rosacea and all that stuff. And it just gently helps to encourage cell turnover. So it's a more gentle acid than um, like an AHA or a BHA would be. The other thing that makes it great is it's not photosensitive or photoreactive. So basically that means it's not gonna make your skin sensitive to sunlight. Obviously you still wanna wear your sunscreen every single day, but it's not gonna be turn your skin sensitive like a retinoid or an AHA or a BHA would. Um, and it also isn't going to deactivate in the sunlight like, um, like a retinoid would. So you can wear this in the morning, which is great. Um, I kind of got conflicting research on whether you could use it with vitamin C or not. A few of the dermatologists that I like to watch on YouTube say that yes, it's great to use with vitamin C so you can put it in your morning routine with your vitamin C. Other people say no because they're both acids. You can't do it, but I don't know. I've been using it in my morning routine. I'll get to you at how I'm using it here in a second, but I have been using it with vitamin C and it seems fine to me. So this is what the ordinary says on their azelaic acid. Um, it says their azelaic acid suspension 10% is a rich is rich in azelaic acid, which brightens the skin tone while visibly improving uneven skin texture and reducing signs of congestion. It is a multifunctional ingredient that offers antioxidant support. Um, it has a pH of 4.00 to 5.00. So again, I don't know much about pH for your skin, but if that's something, you know, you're looking for and trying to keep in mind. The ordinary does tell you what it is. Um, and they say to apply it AM and or PM, um, and obviously to use sun protection. They say not to use it with direct acids, retinoids, pure or ethylated, ethylated, I think is how you say it, vitamin C, or peptides. Um, I don't know why they give those particular disclaimers, but they do. Like I said, there are some mixed research whether you can use it with vitamin C or not. I definitely wouldn't use it like they say with direct acid or retinoids because it is another form of an exfoliator. It's very, very gentle, so you can use it 
on a daily basis according to most dermatologists and sources and stuff like that so um yeah i that's kind of like the rundown of what the ordinary says about it what i've kind of found research and stuff um so this is it by the way it comes in a little box this is a brand new tube i actually i'm still using my older one but i figured i'd show you the brand new tube it is small it's a um it's only an ounce worth of product but the thing is i know a lot of people online and reviews are like i wish it was a bigger bottle um i run through it so quickly the thing is yes it is a suspension and it's in this like emollient sort of moisturizer sort of base but it is an acid and it is more of like a treatment not your moisturizer so if you have dry skin i would recommend not treating this as your moisturizer and definitely put another moisturizer on on top of it and so i think some people are saying that it runs out so quickly for them because they're trying to use it as a moisturizer they're one and only moisturizer for the day and if you have dry skin i just don't think that's going to work for you because like i said this is supposed to be a treatment not your main moisturizer if that makes sense in my opinion at least um I just use a pea size amount. So how I like to use this is I put this in my morning routine. So I will wash my face. I put on my vitamin C and then my um, hyaluronic acid serum because they're both more like liquidy gel-like serums. They're more water-based and a little bit thinner. I put those first and then I put this on next because it's more of a cream. And then I'll put my moisturizer on and then my sunscreen. So that's kind of what I like to do. Like today, I don't ha I have just sunscreen. I don't need makeup on, just sunscreen. Um, it did have like a slight tint to it, but like it's really not covering that much up. And just some mascara and um, eyebrow gel. But that's how I like to put it in my routine. And it hasn't, I haven't had any issues with it um, causing any irritation. I do feel, I know a lot of people say that you can kind of feel like it's not like a tingling like you would feel with um an aha or a pha but it's more of like an itching almost and i have felt it every once in a while with like um like active breakouts i'll kind of feel like a little bit like it's itchy but it goes away within a couple minutes for me at least um so i haven't had any problems with irritation or anything like that um and overall, I think it's really been working for me. I have updated my skincare routine, so this isn't the only new thing in my skincare routine, but this is the thing I've been using the longest, if that makes sense. Um, the other things I've only been using for like two weeks now, so this is the only one that I've truly been using for 30 days. Um, and I'll pop a couple before and after pictures up in here. Um, I mean, hopefully you can see, my skin definitely has improved since I started using this. Um, I think it's working really well for my skin and I've been really enjoying using it. It feels great on the skin. Um, I think what some of these pictures don't show either is that my texture has been improving so, so much. So I had um, a little bit of like a skin barrier issue going on before I started using this. And so I was very bumpy and had a lot of texture underneath my jawline. Um, and that has like almost all gone away now. So it do I do still have some redness and some leftover um, hyperpigmentation or scar. Or it's not hyperpigmentation. I don't remember what it's called. But the redness from my acne, my post acne marks. Um, and so it might look like I have like slightly more redness. But what you can't see in the pictures is that my texture is so much better. And I have so many fewer breakouts um, that it's that's really helping with that so overall I think it has been a great product for me and I've been really enjoying it obviously I already picked up a second <laughs> bottle um I'm, I'm not out of my first one so just so you know it didn't I definitely last longer than a month but I just didn't want to run out while we were crossing the country here so I bought another one and I love the price point I think this is only like 790 which is a super great price point. I don't remember how much the Paula's Choice one is. The Paula's Choice one does have some salicylic acid with it in it. Um, and it's supposed to be like a great combo. So it's definitely, you know, maybe if you want to step up your game with it a little bit, that might be a good option. But I think this is a great way to kind of dip your toe into the azelaic acid world. Um, and I kind of get the hype now. It's a great product. It works super well for me. I definitely have noticed a difference in my skin. Like I said, you can be the judge of yourself with the before and after pictures. But um, yeah, I've been really enjoying it. I've been using it every day in the morning and I've been really enjoying it. I might start using it 
every once in a while a night. Um, right now my skincare routine kind of has two days on of active ingredients and then one day off of an active ingredient. So I might pop this in there at night and kind of see how my skin does. And if it's not working out, I might pull it back. But um, so far every night, every day, it has been great for my skin. I've been really, really enjoying it. Um, so yeah, I would definitely recommend this. This has been a successful 30 day skincare test for me. Um, I'll leave some of my other 30 day skincare tests up in the corners and down below in case you're curious about any of them, but this is definitely a successful one. And yeah, I am definitely a convert to the acid, the acid, acid world. I can see why so many people love, love, love it. Um, and yeah, I think that's all I want to say about it. Hopefully you guys got all the information you want out of this video. If you have any questions for me, please leave them down below. Um, if you've used Adelaide Acid and have success with it as well, we'd love to know that as well. Um, so please leave me some comments um, and give this video a like if you enjoyed it. And if you got some information out of it, anything, please just give the video a like and support my channel um, and subscribe if you want to join our little adventure family here. And I think that's it for this video. So I'll see you in my next adventure. Bye.